much more stronger now. Hi, I'm Sarah, here at Girls in the Stacks with Sarah Czar, yay, who wrote awesome books including Story of a Zar, Story of a Girl, Story of a Czar. Uh, let's see, the second one was Sweethearts, uh, the third one was Once Was Lost, and now her new one, How to Save a Life, which I haven't read yet, but I'm super excited it's good. to read. Yay! So the next question is: You're in the heads of each main character. So how do you how do you switch personas? Because they're different girls every time. Um, I don't know. Uh, so much of writing is a mystery. Yeah. So then, how do you how do you get out of one character when you're done with story of a girl? How did you get rid of her voice? I mean, do you want to go back into a sequel? I know everyone's always claiming oh, for sequels. Um, I think I think with any of my characters, it it would be not too hard to re-enter okay. their lives. Um, I don't because of the way I guess I end my books. They're satisfying endings to mm -hmm. me, and so I don't feel like I can't get their voice out of my head, or my next book is sounding just like the last book. I feel like I'm done. Nice. With, with their story in a nice way and I'm sending them out into the world and they're living their lives now it's got nothing to do with me <laughs> night one I like that because so many of what we're reading with why I lit there's always a cliffhanger at the end and that yeah. it's kind of annoying because we're like can we just have a conclusion so it's nice yeah. that all of your books have a conclusion yeah some so, thanks depending <laughs> on what readers you ask mm, I think my, my major fans of sweethearts don't really feel like there's a conclusion mm, but um, I think there is Okay. So you're not going back? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. So when... Show me the money! <laughs> that's right. Then you can... <laughs> I think that's good. I, I always am reading something, and so I really don't connect kind of what I'm reading to what I'm writing. Okay. So it's not a problem for me to read YA Lit while I'm writing YA Lit, or to avoid certain types of voices or nice. anything like that. I just want to really enjoy okay. what I'm reading. Okay, so then tell me, I know that you were part of this initial group in 2007 with Jay Asher and Greg Neri, other people that I love, and do you still get to collaborate or connect with them ever? Do you feel a special bond with them in some way? I do. You know, sometimes I forget that that even happened. <laughs> because <laughs> it, feels, it does feel like a long time ago, and um, it was a group of people who all had books coming out in 2007, and we kind of did some collaborative, like a collaborative website and blog and like a newsletter to promote each other's books and stuff like that but I know like Melissa Marr was in that group okay. um, Cassie Clare I think was wow. in that group initially so yeah I, I do feel like sometimes I was recently out on tour on a group tour um, called Smart Chicks Kick It with some other oh, yeah. female authors and Melissa was on that tour and I think we had a minute where we were like remember that thing? <laughs> nice. And it's just neat to see um people succeeding and yeah what's happened it's been a really good group yeah yeah and you have I'm been proud really, of us. well you should be of yourself so the last question is what do you love about your job so much i mean there's so many pieces to it uh i love the practical aspects of it you know i love just being self-employed running my own schedule mm -hmm. i like I usually like being alone. It can get old. Mm -hmm. Sometimes by late afternoon, I'm ready to go out to the coffee <laughs> shop or something like that. Um, I love hearing from readers. Yeah. I love when I'm starting a new book. That's probably my favorite part. When I'm starting mm -hmm. a new book and the idea is fresh mm -hmm. and unspoiled. Yay. Yes. Okay. And then that lasts for like 30 pages. And then it's ruined. <laughs>